old man, he had the, the eye of a vulture. And when it fell upon me, my blood ran cold. my mind to take the life of the old man and rid myself of, of the eye forever. <laughs> Turned the latch of the door, and I opened it oh, 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 so gently. And upon the eighth night, I was more than cautious in opening the door. I had my head inside even, and was about to open the lantern when my thumb slipped on the old tin fastening. And the old man suddenly sprang up and bed, crying out, Who's there? Hello. Um, okay, so microphone's on. Um, I forgot all the sounds set up already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the stream just playing through everything that's been written. Um, I moved all the lights around, um, and it's really weird. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. Um... It doesn't, I changed it to ultra latency, or the ultra low latency. So, uh, I mean, how is it? Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that was just a couple, that was less than a couple seconds, so. Um, I don't know how that's affecting audio quality, um, but we're gonna, oop. Almost forgot one thing. Got to change where it's coming out of, or else it's going to come out of my speakers and no, oh, excuse me, not into the stream.
Okay, so that did a lot yesterday. <laughs> um, wow, that was a... Because pretty much everything from the end to... Like right here. So from 92 to 133 was all done yesterday. Um, and even some of the stuff in here too is done yesterday. Um, whew. Okay, so there's a couple places that I am kind of missing stuff. Um, I just didn't write it. Um, for example, during the little... I'll get to that eventually. <laughs> um, I'm actually thinking the mallet percussion right here. Um, during the woodwind solely, solo solely section. The one to a part section. Um... So I'm going to add some more mallet percussion here because it kind of just drops off right now. Um, first, I'm going to just try and see what it would sound like if I kept doing the same thing from the marimba so that they're not like learning a bunch of new... Well, I mean, it's not bad to have all of this stuff that's not the same, but for memorization purposes, uh, oops, number lock, um, it's useful to have repeated sections. Okay. There's not really much that I have to change. Um, I am a concert pitch, okay. That would explain why the tenor sax randomly is down here. Um, and there's a bass cliff there. So right now I've got this. E flat major thing, which is fine. C minor thing, which is fine. E flat major thing, which is fine. And then A flat major, but I need to do a B flat here. I'm going to try that again. This time I'm going to actually go into studio view so I can bump up the volume on the marimba so it kind of cuts through. And then I'll decide if I like it or not. So I could do that, or I could give the marimba something else in these four bars and actually put that over here. Instead. Which I think I might do. And we'll just do some nice rolls, which I actually have already done at the end here. So I'm going to just copy paste because <laughs> that's, I mean, it's the same thing. So um, yeah, I copied it already, paste it here. Um, yeah, we'll keep that same motion. So then what I need to change is instead of it going to that and then that, I'm gonna add some eighth notes here. Uh, 
half notes. And I discovered if you highlight, shift, alt, up. Oh, nope. That was too many things. It automatically does that. So that was that's cool. And we're going to actually put this mesoforte over here. And I'm going to hide the rest here. So then let's go ahead and start it from 101. I think that works. All right, I'm gonna add some more movement using the bells, and I think I'm just gonna do like an ostinato eighth note pattern. Um, um, Be paste and I'm using um, click control and then I just click on the measure and it copies it for me ah too many arrow keys Let's do that. So I'm going to add a utilities change instrument, blank staff, grand staff, utilities change instrument, marimba. All right, so then I'm going to add a suspended symbol here. Although, oh, it's because it's set to. So I'm going to put that there only because it won't be very loud if I don't. Um, but I'm going to mark a crescendo here. And then I think I have. Yes, I do. That. I made. A um, some roll markings because if you do just the regular articulation it actually will roll the sound and since this is already a suspended symbol roll sound don't want that <laughs> all right uh, I'm gonna test this Um, that did nothing. Uh, 
Marimba. So three one should be okay. All right, I think I know what happened. Because um, right now all I'm getting is the, uh, break drum sound. Yep, okay. So I need tap space, uh, metal combo. There it is. All right. No, I moved that. That's not what I wanted at all. Yikes. Um, there we go. 109. Yeah, let's hear it in context now. Sweet, that works. That timing actually worked out really well, <laughs> considering those symbols are set to a specific like amount length of time. Um, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to actually cheat with this a little bit. I'm gonna move this so it's at the beginning of the bar line, and then I'm gonna put um, a louder dynamic marking but hide it because we all know that low brass can play loud when they're given the melody. And then I'm going to put them back in the texture right here. Um, yeah, this chord thing doesn't work out. Da, 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 dum, bum. And I'm actually going to bump that up. <laughs> I would never give that dynamic to actual low brass players. That was a mistake. Um, also, do I have anyone else playing this melody? No, I don't. Okay. Um, 
Cool. I'm going to go back into scroll view. Excuse me. And let's see, is there anything else I can do? I think I've got to write some articulation markings here. I don't know why I did that. We're going to go ahead and here. Yeah, I definitely need to add some more stuff in here, although I need to put it. I have to put it in either the chime or something with this player because um, I have everyone doing stuff. I mean, I could put one there. Um, uh, blank staff. Contact moved. Um, one eighteen. I also have the bass drum and gong that I can work with in this section. Speaking of, why don't we add some of that? Um, I think they'll be on chime for this section. Go back one more bar. note here. Uh, I should have probably give the reminder that they should be pedaling. Thank you. 
right here, we're going to change instrument. Um, that's Tam Tam. We're going to do the same thing where we put it a pretty loud dynamic marking and then hide it. And then put that there. And we're going to do. Let's see how that goes. I think it's a little too loud. We're going to go for this dynamic. Nope, two. there. One more time there. And then I will think about what I'm going to do here because I think I'm going to do something rhythmic or I might wait until I've written more battery. Um, 110. Sweet. Um, I'll just get rid of this belt part. We don't really need it. So utilities change instrument, blank staff. Again, <laughs> push through this section.
Um, so I can bring this dynamic a little bit down from where I have it. It's a little overpowering, especially here, because I have two of them doing it. There we go, there's the last one. All right, um, okay, I'm gonna go through and kind of look, because I know I'm missing, I'm not really giving the chime player anything to play for quite a while in some of these sections, and that's probably not ideal. Um, and Let's see, so I've got stuff here. I don't really have anything that I want them to do during this section. I probably should. could have them playing a bass drum here. So we're going to go to Technique Text. Um, not muted. I'll just cheat and look at what it says. Um, dampened, that's the word I was looking for. And I want staccato damp. Ooh, got that backwards. All right, and then so we'll, that's a forte, that's a piano. And now, uh, dampened bass drum. And then need to give the instruction to remove dampen or <laughs> remove the towel um, and then staccato 34 Hello, everyone in the stream. Mm -hmm. 
Um, okay. I'm going to actually make this just mezzo piano the whole way through because I don't want the bass drum to be as loud as everything else in the texture. All right, I can put the chime back in for this, though. If I can type letters correctly. there, lift there, um, we don't want that to be too overpowering. Hello everyone in the chat. I'm going to actually add some accents to these because this is really the only thing that happens on beat four. <laughs> and it definitely needs to be popping out a little more. It just needs a little more oomph. So this is actually a woodwind feature, as you probably could tell by listening, and the fact that it's just scalar passages in E flat major. <laughs> it lays pretty well, though. I did test out um, the flute and clarinet. Um, I have this Devisi here because the low register one is super easy. Um, the upper register one is not as easy, so it'd be, you definitely would want to put your better players on it. Um, and then the flute one is pretty simple too. Now here's somewhere where I actually could really use the chime to bring out this effect. So I have E flat going to B flat, G, B flat. I'm just outlining an E major chord. Not G major, E flat major. I saw a G and I said in G major. Boom.
that's going to be to let ring. And then I'm going to do this C flat. And then we're going to go and do octave E flats. C flat, D flat. Accent those. Oh, the last thing I see is the symbol crashes. I forgot to put the pedal back on. That explains a little bit. <laughs> um, less that it's whether it's possible or not, but more the fact that it just lays well. Um, so it's not overly difficult. Oh, I do need to put a lift here. Yeah, um... The thing about woodwind features is that it's one thing to just write a bunch of notes, <laughs> um, but because it is a marching band setting, you want as many of the players to be able to do it as possible. Um, and so I try to write a lot of my woodwind features so they at least lay well um, in one of the octaves um, so that everyone can be playing. Cause it, the sound it helps with the sound even with the clarinets playing in that super low register that they're written that'll actually project better than half of what the regular run would <laughs> um in the first clarinet um but there it just kind of makes it easier to learn and memorize and it still looks and sounds impressive i mean there's no point to writing a run in b major when 90% of the time the judge is not going to realize it's in B major unless they're staring at the kid's fingers. And I mean, I've gotten comments on my fingerings before <laughs> in the high register, but it was at a standstill for like 16 bars. And it was a judge walking past me. Um, no, you just have to like be taught <laughs> how to do it. It's awkward um, early on because it doesn't necessarily feel like the most natural thing. 
Um, it also depends on what woodwind you're looking at. I mean, articulation on a flute is a lot different than the articulation on a saxophone. So, um, and it all has to do with where you're placing and what syllable you're using to teach it. Like clarinet is a lot of T. Um, I personally use a D articulation when I play flute, so da, da 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 da. Um, it just feels better, and I don't get as harsh of an articulation. Um, and then it's been a while since I've done saxophone, so I'd have to think about it. Um, right. Back down to the chime. I've got some stuff there. Um, I really wish that, um, you could do some of these, like, lifts and stuff on whole rests. You can do them on quarter rests and half rests, but you can't do them on whole rest. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Weird. Dynamics help. And saving <laughs> so I don't lose this progress because that would be really bad. All right, um, I guess I could put some stuff in here. Oh, it's set as percussion still, so let us fix that.
Oh. Almost have to restock my coffee cup. Uh, I'll drink some water for a little bit too. Um, cool. So now the chime player has stuff to do. There's a couple spots where the timpani player is resting for a while. So let's put some stuff here. Oh, I do not want to actually put ties here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. do ties because it'll break the roll. There we go. Uh, mezzo forte, forte, write some crescendo in here. Innuendo. And then we'll do kind of similar thing here. Um, I've got the E flat, the C, E flat, E flat. Forte piano. I generally I write for four timpani drum, um, and I'll mark. So I'll have to go back and see what the transposition or the tunings I need to change to are, but I usually do four drums. It's I feel like it would be pretty standard um, number of timpani for a group to possess and own.
gone too far. That's good enough for now. Let's see. Don't remember how long the long roll is. About to test play this, not test play this, but play through this on solo so I can hear how long this roll lasts. And it doesn't actually make any sound. Um, Let's try that one. It's almost long enough. I think that'll be good enough for this purpose. So I need to use a miscellaneous, miscellaneous thing here, and then that's good. All right, All right I'm going to be right back. I'm going to refill my coffee cup, but I'm going to actually play this um, because it won't take me long because I actually already have the coffee made.
So hopefully it didn't like randomly start skipping and cutting out for you because as I walked away, um, it started doing that to me. And I almost burned myself because I reheated the coffee in my mug and the handle's very, very warm. <laughs> Hmm. I'm drinking Fomenico coffee that um, is mixed with some milk and chai tea concentrate. So it's kind of like having a chai tea latte without the latte part. Or the espresso part, I guess, is the part it's missing. Delicious either way. Um... Just going to do this in the chat and maybe that'll work. Unless I have to set this as a moderator every time, which might be kind of annoying. Ugh. It looks like I'll have to do that. No, it's set. So just type the command wrong. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past me. Um... No, I think I, I just had the regular coffee yesterday. Um, hmm. Oh, I know what it is. Edit it. Chat. There we go. Maybe. There we go. So if you type those things, it'll do that stuff in the chat. Hello, five viewers. Um, that was perfect timing for me to do that. So if you do exclamation point, any of those things that just appeared in the chat, it'll give you those things. Um, obviously, I'm not working on my game right now. I'll be working on that at Twitch. But if you do the exclamation Twitch, it'll bring up my Twitch information. Um, I will be doing the Twitch stream at 7.30 Mountain Time, which is 9.30 Eastern. Um, but yeah, so I just played through this entire uh, thing a couple of minutes ago. So if you are just popping in, you could just check that out if you want. Um, I got to definitely get some of these drum parts, though, because we're at that time now. Because uh, if I don't do it now, I'm going to get through the last movement and have to go back and rewrite a lot of drum parts, <laughs> and that doesn't sound fun. So I just finished with this. So we have this triple lit three four interlude. Bum 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 bum. Percussion break. And the question is, do I actually add battery within this percussion break? Because it's very not battery conducive. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to it for a second. So this is measure twenty five. I think I'll keep this a mallet percussion feature. And then we'll add the battery back in here. Um, so let me see, 34. No matter what, I've got to get eighth, eighth, downbeat. Um, so I'm going to start with just a bunch of sixteenth notes in the snares. Actually, I'm just going to do two bar phrases because we're going to just loop those two bars. So, okay, let's zoom in a little bit here. That's easy to read. It looks so small on my um, monitor over here. Sorry, so over here. Where I keep looking. Um, and, <laughs> but on my screen, it's huge. Um, let's, Add some. Da, 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 da. I wouldn't be able to, honestly, I don't know if I could do it without two. Just because if I don't, then somehow I. Well, if I don't, then I wouldn't be able to see it on the chat. I mean, I could bring up the chat on my phone and with an app, but I'd rather not do that. <laughs> so honestly, my monitor is the TV that I bought when I moved here, and it's barely bigger than my computer screen. <laughs> Before I copy and paste, ooh, no, exit out of that lyric tool, type into score. Yes, that's what I want. Um, I use the lyric tool for this because it's super easy. Um, oh gosh, no, okay. So right, left, right, left, um, left, alternating, left, right, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, oh, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. And we'll do that. And boom. I will change one part about this ending though.
and we'll just do that. Still accent that. That way it kind of is the end of the phrase here. Copy paste. And let's see what it sounds like. And then instead of this, we're going to do a roll. on a right and then I'm gonna do the bass drums because I always do the tenors last because it's terrifying not exactly terrifying but do this actually now would be a good time for a bunch of people to be in the chat <laughs> uh, let me see if I can call for help here I'm about to Facebook story um, my plea um, here we go attempting to write drumline parts come in the chat and help me <laughs> youtube.com slash GOS if four people quick well there's still four people in the chat what should I do with this bass drum part? <laughs> I don't know if I want to add too much to it. Well, there were four people in the chat for a hot second. I'm going to play through this again and maybe I'll get some I'm block. Maybe I'll get some ideas. Okay, so because of that dropping out in this bar, I definitely know for a fact I'm going to do bass drum unison hits here. Bum, bum. Yeah. Is this too fast for 30 seconds? I don't think so. E. E. No, it's not too fast for that.
All right, back to this. Um, hello. Trying to write some drumline parts right now. I'm going to play through the section. Yeah, uh, Michael, he actually teaches color guard in the area that I live right now. He was very helpful. The advantage of everyone doing those rolls is that if the bass drums aren't totally clean on that run, it's not going to be as sad. Okay. Um, I don't like that. So I'm going to do this. Bum, dun, da, 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 da. Bum. 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 Bum, bum. Well, thank you. Um, all right. I'm going to go into studio view so I can turn up the bass drums. I don't know what happened, but for some reason now, which I'm not actually complaining because now it's what I'm doing, what I want to happen. When I enter Zudo View, it doesn't jump up to the top of the score. It was doing that earlier. Um, I guess dynamic markings will be helpful too. <laughs> I already have bass drums at the highest volume. Just kidding. Oops. Um, so we have dun dun da 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 Dun, dun, da -ga, da -ga, da -ga. And this time we're gonna make this actually whoop, there. Um, can I do a stick click? Do chat. Let's do unison stick click. Except this actually is supposed to be. Oh, just kidding. Never mind. I told myself that I was gonna do eighth notes in the bass drums <laughs> for this. Well, thank you for subscribing. Um, right now I'm pretty much streaming every day. Um. Once we get into August, that will probably change because I'll be back to work because I'm a teacher. <laughs> um, so, but doing what I can here. This, by the way, this is for my portfolio. It's not actually for a specific group. It'll be for sale on my website, but it's not for anyone specific. Um, so then we're gonna go another unison hit. And I'm just going to copy paste most of this. Because it's kind of the same material in the winds. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. And it's not that often like you can find people doing it live, right? 
I don't know. I haven't seen that many people, but I also haven't really looked. So, okay, I'm gonna turn bass drums down a little bit. And then for my nightmare, tenor drums. <laughs> oh, this is like the hardest instrument to write for for me. I just, ugh. Give me like something else all day. But tenor drums, it's, It just takes so long because I really have to think, which is probably a good thing. It probably ends up so that it's better than some other parts. That would make sense, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys know uh, what micro marching is, but that would be really cool to live stream. Um, since it's kind of like a game, but it's drill writing. Um, I used to... I was one of the first members, actually, in 2007. <laughs> okay. Um, distracting. Let's see. What am I going to do? I could use the um, flute slash xylophone part for some inspiration, which is da 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 um, so why don't we do that? That sounds like a good idea. Go me. <laughs> um, all right. Do, 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 do. So I'm probably going to go. Oh, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, it was really small timpani. Um, I, oh, I, I don't think, I think I got a nine once on a show. Um, the, the thing with the tenors is you have to think, so this is, I have to think of this backwards because of the mirror <laughs> in the uh, camera, but lowest, mid low, mid high, high, do, 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 sorry. Low, mid low, mid high, high, so that whenever you're playing, it's boop, 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 boop. Um, so sticking wise, you really, like you have to think a lot harder about where that's going because they have to change drums. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start on the low mid drum, and in my head I think A. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. Um, except the tom in the middle is written up here, generally. Um, so I think of this as the like an F-A-C-E drum. So in my head, I'm thinking A, and that's partially because when you're doing um, input in Finale, if you type the letter, it'll do that, but it's in the treble clef. Oh no, I have to find where I was. Yeah, I tenors are honestly the last thing you really need in a drumline. I would take cymbals over tenors because of the color. Um, but that's just, I also taught cymbals for an indoor drumline for two years, so I might be biased. All right, so I'm going to go ba da dum. Ba da dum. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Having a lot of sounds is a great thing, except for when I press the wrong thing. <laughs> and then I have to search for the sound that I was on. So right now I have right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yeah, no, a lot of groups don't march cymbals, in fact. Um, I think most of the ones when I was growing up outdoor-wise did not have cymbals, um, unless it was a parade, and it was for the mallet percussion players and the front ensemble to use. 
Um, ooh, I actually need something in between here because this needs to be in beat four. So I have, this is gonna be backwards compared to what you're seeing, but right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right. Let's do that. Uh. And then while I'm in this measure, I'm going to actually start doing my sticking left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Um, get my dynamic marking in here. And I'm just going to listen to this one measure. And then I need And a three, four. So that gives me some leeway here. So I'm on right, and I'm gonna go left, left. Left, left. Right. Left, left, right, right, left, right. Um. Da da dum, bum, ba da 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 da. Da, 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 da. I already messed that up. I want to go. So then right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, left. Boop, boop. And let's see what that goes like. So then what I did before was I pretty much copy pasted this um, and then made slight changes and then I'm going to copy paste this section and put it into the next part because the same it's the same melodic material. Um, and then so I want eighth notes here and I know I have this do -da -da rhythm but I think I'm going to get rid of it. And do that. Um, cool. So that's all I'm going to actually change. And then uh, I'm going to copy paste the whole thing because I don't believe I have anything in the tenor part anyway um, coming up. So I'm not going to copy over something. But I do need to change this. Um, so I have right, right, left, right, right, how do I want to do this? Um, 
I guess I could do that. And then I'm going to just I keep hitting semicolon instead of L. We're going to crescendo this. And this is going to be a right. And we need to be at expression tool. Fortissimo. And uh, 34, I think, is what? Ooh, not, ooh, no, none of those measure numbers. 34 is where this starts. I'm going to add some accents into this, kind of matching the snare part a little bit, um, which coincidentally is matching some of the other stuff anyway. So um, I'm always really bad about putting accents in the bass drums, so I should probably go through and write the same accents for them because I really don't want anything to um, popcorny right now. Boom. Duka duka. Duka da. Boom. Boom dun duka boom. Wait, I don't want random textures of drums coming through at different times. I kind of want this pulse to happen, um, which in this case is happening on one, three, I guess one, three, four, one, and four. And I'm not going to worry about that one. And see where we are now. very marching band rhythmic pattern. Oh, come on. There we go. So it'll be boom, boom, boom. Um, both hand rim shots. I don't know what to put in the snare right now. Hmm. Well, that was weird. My, I looked up to see my camera pause for a second on me scratching my neck. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just put some section hits for now. Um, I 
some debts. I don't want to do three. Seems a little weird, but I don't know. Let's do it for now. Although, all right, I'm not going to put these Bs in because if you can't figure out that, that you have to play with both hands for that, you may have other problems. <laughs> Um, I mean, I could fill this in with stick clicks, so we're like, dun, 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 dun. But I don't know how much that carries in outdoor. I'm definitely very indoor writing. Um, let's just stick with that for now, though. I'm going to play from the beginning and just kind of watch through my drum parts here. do this then. What if I did I don't think I could let me see Dun -dun. I guess you could do stick clicks together um, do I even have that as an option in my I don't. All right, well, let me put it in the bass drum and then I will add it in to my percussion map. Um, so I guess this is a good time to show how I use taps. So I use tap space percussion, uh, the drumline sound set, which is like, I don't know, $250 or less. I don't really remember. I got it a few years ago. Um, because, I mean, I was writing for regularly enough for Drumline that it was really useful to have over top of just the uh, virtual Drumline light that Finale comes with. Uh, but it does take a little bit of work uh, to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my score manager here. And actually, before I do this, I'm going to save. Because I haven't saved in a while. All right, now I'm going to go to the score manager. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to go into my tenor line and notation style settings. And then this is where all my percussion layouts are. All of these are the ones that Finale does automatically. Um, 
And in fact, I took the VD light one and I just made, fixed it for what I needed to do. Um, so right here, I want the tap space and I want tenor line and you can see VD light. Um, I never renamed it because of, what's the point? Um, and then here is where I kind of, you have, you have to look through the documentation and to see what MIDI notes. So like each note in the virtual instruments are set to like a note that you would find on the piano, the, the piano, the keyboard slash piano. Um, and so they're assigned that way. And so you can see like, all right, well, I've got low tom shot rim is MIDI note 66. And right now I do have a note for tenor stick click, but I never actually assigned it to anything, which makes me wonder what it is. And I know I have it somewhere. It's probably actually underneath my desk. Let me take a look. Aha, I printed the whole thing out <laughs> when I was using it regularly. Um, so let me go ahead and go to the tenor. You can see, I even have this nice little sticky note um, that has <laughs> what drum is what letter. Uh, I don't need that now. <laughs> um, in fact, I don't know why I did it. But so then you can see uh, uh, turn. This, this is really hard. Um, Sal, it's a piano keyboard and it has listed next to it the um, notes that it is. Um, so I need to find tenor stick clicks. Well, there's stand hit, aluminum mallet click, hand muffle, cowbell, hand claps, double stop on shells, not, hmm, I guess I'll have to use the aluminum mallet click. Not exactly what I was looking for, although that's the manual, what's in the auto? I think it's the same thing, but huh. <sighs> All right. So now I have to remember what <laughs> MIDI note these are. Um, so C1 is 36. 35, 34, 33, 32. Oh, 36, 35, 34, 33. I think. It'd be really embarrassing if I did this wrong. Okay, you can stop doing this now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to make it X's. Um, Tom, tenor stick click. Select. Now, theoretically, if I go to the middle line, I should see it was there. <laughs> I heard it. It's really soft. But so that's the virtual drumline. Um, it has so many 
percussion sounds. It is not limited to just drumline. So, I mean, I if you're writing for percussion a lot, it's a lot of money, but it's it's worth it. Like, honey, it is worth it. Especially for the metal combo, where it has all the suspended cymbals and the bass drum sounds are all fantastic. Um, there's also a vocal one that has a bunch of letters, so you could spell things out. Um, it also has different sound effects, like hiss, and who, and a 4-2 piano O, oh, which I've definitely heard before in recordings for some things. All right, back to what I was doing with this. Um, so now I need to make sure I give the instruction that those are stick clicks. Technique text. And I actually want them to do it on the rim. For the bass drums. All right. 42. This measure like makes me laugh a little bit just because I'm, I don't make it um, a surprise that I'm changing key. <laughs> it's just yeah, no, we're we're going back to E flat. Um, and then it's almost comical. The boop 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 boop. Um, that, oh, right, there we go. Uh, shoot, now what am I going to do here? Uh, because I've got these feature sections that I don't know if I want the drum line to play. <laughs> So I used, um, so I turned an old file into a template, so every once in a while you can see like these crescendos that just seem to pop out of nowhere, um, they're from the old file. to do here. Oh, I didn't mean to move the rest. There we go. I'm gonna crescendo this. And actually we're gonna put them up here because that's where they're supposed to go. I think. If I remember correctly, someone told me to do this once at least. Um, all right, so now this is where everyone's going to come back in. Well, that's true. Um, I'd be a little worried with the... Um, hmm, no. I was going to say a little worried about the woodwind one. Um, 
but honestly, they probably could be fine. Uh, question is, what do I do? Um, I'm gonna have to listen to it again. And also, there's one rhythm here in the low brass that I keep hearing, and I'm like, it would be fine, but it's not ideal. I think it's this one. Maybe not. Bum, 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 ba da, bum, bum. Why don't I just break the tie? Do I have it in the tenor? I don't remember. I do. Yeah, that'll work a lot better. Come on, I want to highlight that, please. Thank you. I think I will keep the drumline out of the brass feature, just because there's already a little bit of a lot going on. Um, and if I add anything else to it, you, it just kind of muffle what I did. So all it is is I took the melody and augmented it and changed the rhythm slightly so it matched up chord-wise a little better. Um, but woodwind. It's a little more, I mean, it's all, it's a lot more straightforward. It's just the melody that's been ornamented. Come on. I haven't written anything in the symbol line just because of how kind of touch and go that is and I'd be too tempted to write symbol features and when 90% of the time there's probably no symbol players to actually play them which is very sad because my favorite thing to do in drumline and writing is uh, symbol features because they look cool and sound cool when there's a lot of notes Sorry. Right. Um All right. So let's do the bass drums here. Yep, that's what it is. So I'm honestly going to kind of follow the melodic line. And this is going to be a bass drum slash woodwind feature. I mean, that's kind of, that'd be kind of interesting to um, stage. Put the bass drums in the middle of all the woodwinds depending on how many woodwinds you have. If you don't have a lot of woodwinds, then probably put the bass drums behind them. But, or if you don't have a lot of woodwinds, I probably would cut the bass drums from this. Um, unless you have, oh, well, I guess if you're gonna dampen with your hand, it's not gonna be as big of an issue. Boom. 
Dugga, 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 Bum. Dugga, 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 Yeah, um, I mean, eventually, once you do it enough, it doesn't, there's, it's just calloused. <laughs> Not really, but, like, you get used to it. Um, but, yeah, I can see that. Um, mute. Guess I should be specific in how we're muting. Da da. Da ga. Da ga da. Da ga da ga da. Ba ba da 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 da. Bum ba da 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 da. Bum ba bum. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 ba da da da. Take a take a take a take a dump bump. Be nice if my scroll would actually stay in the correct spot. Okay, so then we're gonna repeat this. And this measure will be different, and we're going to do um, sans mute. And then we're going to add the difficulty. Um, no, I need to go down first. That's not an A. This is an A.
Oh, yeah, no, that's... It's from being in studio view. If I were to go to scroll view, it'd be super fast. I had it in studio view because I was trying to be able to mess with the volumes pretty quickly, but I don't really need it right now. Unless this is really soft and I might need it. There's something over here, though, I have to fix. Um, this measure. So what I'm going to do here is... Ba, ba, ba. Try that. thing that I need to do. I'm going to refill my coffee cup for the last time, I think, in this stream. Um, but I'm going to play through the whole thing. Um, I'm going to scroll up a little bit and zoom out so it's not on the battery the whole time because the battery doesn't play for the whole last three minutes or so. Um, but. You can see the measure numbers up here. So if there's anything that's like glaring, make a mental note of the measure numbers here.
I love the Corde Bien. It makes me so happy, even though it's just an open... Well, it's not open. It's an E-flat chord with an F in it. Or, if you want to get fancy, I guess you could say it's an E-flat 9 uh, without the 7th. Um, cool. Uh, bring my mouse back over here. Yeah, I didn't really hear anything either, so... I'm going to come back here, and we think got about a half hour left before I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> hey, everyone needs an arrangement of the YMCA. <laughs> um, so I've got about 30 minutes before I'm gonna take a streaming break, and then I'm gonna stream on Twitch um, for my RPG Maker game. Um, I think I'm going to end up streaming longer than I did yesterday for that, just because I don't have anywhere to be right away. Um, but let's get into this. Um, are we in the first? Yeah, now we're in the first movement. <laughs> Took a while. Yeah, we don't have that much right left to right either. It's like, what, four, five, six, seven, eight bars? I think I can do eight bars in 30 minutes. That shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Just what to do. So I probably should go somewhere within this da 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 pattern. Um to kind of re-emphasize it. Um, so let's start there. And I actually had been using that pattern earlier on um, in the snare part. So I have to make sure it's different enough that it wouldn't get confused. Da, digga, da, digga, da, digga, digga, da. So I'm gonna use this as my base. And so now I just need to put some other stuff in it. So I think I'm going to add, because I haven't done any triplets in the snare parts at all, I think, yet. So we're going to make a triplet right here. So I actually didn't need to th do three notes. I just need to do one. And then type nine on my keyboard. And it automatically sets up my triplet. Um, and then I'm actually going to just highlight, copy, and then paste it <laughs> somewhere. So I'm gonna go da 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 because I hate snare drummers. Ah, I could do that. That would. To me, this seems easier. I don't know if this seems easier to any percussionists out there, but going right, left, right, uh, sorry, right, right, left. I'm not gonna put a five tuplet up against that, the other rhythm though. Um, right, right, left, right, left, left, right. Have to use the space. Right, left, right, left. Da, 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 And then I'll just double the rights here. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate snare drummer's personality. I just uh, like making them suffer <laughs> by making them do triple to duple in an awkward way. No, I don't think that's too hard. I mean, if I can do it slow, then that means someone that actually plays percussion should be able to do that at tempo. Um, right? That would make sense. Um, oh. 
I don't really want to do this. Okay. And then here, we're going to go da, 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 Something like that. And we want Forte. And I'm going to see what this sounds like. Hey, that didn't suck. <laughs> um, so then we're going to repeat that. Uh, oh, wait, I have to do the sticking for the rest of it. Oops. That'd be helpful. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. So then I'm going to repeat this rhythm, but we're going to add accents now. That there's more voices and we're not going to overpower anything. Because um, before that, it's pretty much just clarinets and flutes going with brass doing whole notes that are theoretically, hopefully, the director would have them back down and then grow. And then here, we're adding a lot more motion and stuff. So I'm going to go accent, um, accent the beginning of this, accent before. So we have da, 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 da. So I'm taking this accent pattern from earlier on and then just slapping it on this new rhythm. I didn't think so. <laughs> so we're going to do this now. And then no drum line. Okay. Bass drums. Da, da, da. Unison hit. And then we're going to go F A C. B. F, 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 bum, 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 bum. Pure bass four, since I'm only doing four bass drums. We got it made in this one. And then we're going to do the same thing with adding the accents, except um, I think I might make them unisons. do that. Still going to write the accents though. Um, uh, 
just because I did do a couple more unisins than normal, or what is written in the accents. Missed one. We're actually going to make these eighth notes. And then tenors. Okay. Um, let me think. Both right, left. Both right, left. I mean, I could go really easy with this and just do this. I think I might. Um... It's meant to type an A. Something like that. Um So this is going to be a stick cross. B, right. Left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, B, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, And then we're gonna just copy paste like we did before and add the accents just like we did before. So this one is going to go We're going to get rid of this marking cuz now it's not a stick crossing. And I think this started on measure 64. Sweet. Save. Um, I'm going to listen to the whole way through. Uh, let me go in 
into studio view for a second here. See, it dropped me, it jumped me up the, to the top here. Um, oh, you know what? Tenors are probably so soft because they're right in the center. Let's put them with the snare, I guess. Let me move the snare up here and then the tenors down there. Zoom out once. Okay. So that's all the drumline stuff that's written so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this into Marimba here. Yeah, that's true. Um, I generally work in that kind of like speed. Um, like I can write things pretty quickly sometimes. Um, what's nice about this is that there's someone, there's people there that could be like, oh, try this and it'll actually speed up my process sometimes. Um, the part that takes me the most time is the fact that I listen from the beginning a lot just to get more ideas. So I will work from the beginning forward, um, very through composed. Um, I think yesterday I popped up my themes finale file that had a couple themes that I came up with to use for this is kind of some background prep for this. But honestly, like 90% of this is just coming up with, oh, well, let's try this and then go for it, um, which usually works pretty well. Um, there's been a couple times where I plan things and it works out really well. But honestly, I get really frustrated a lot when I'm trying to plan my music, um, which doesn't work for everyone. Um, this method works really well for me. 
Um, when I was taking composition lessons in undergrad, uh, my teacher told me that that's kind of how his teacher worked, that they would just kind of go through from the beginning and keep adding on and go back to the beginning and listen and go back. So um, I don't feel bad about it. It, 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 it is tedious sometimes, though. Um, I do feel like I'm not, like I'm cheating sometimes because of it, but. Um, all right, so we are, okay. I mean, all of this mallet stuff looks pretty filled in. Kind of want to do this rhythm instead of this rhythm here. So what I'm going to do is delete that. I just want the regular bass drum, please. Oop, I need eighth notes. Boom, boom, boom. Move that fortissimo here. Yeah. Well, it works for me, so I go for it. Um, one thirteen. That was really, really loud. Um, so I'm going to move that and actually change this to the this dynamic marking and then hide it. So it's not as boom in your face. Um, there we go. One thing I don't like about the melody, well, not the melody, the counter melody in the upper winds is the fact that it goes down like this. So I'm going to flip these notes. And also, this slur is broken. There we go. So, because that is really, I mean, I'm going to turn transposition off. It's pretty low for the trumpet. I mean, we've got some A's in there. Um, I'm going to copy paste this and paste it in the mellophone. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to then right click and copy the layers. And I'm going to actually move layer two into layer one so it gets rid of this. Um, and then I'm going to can I do, resize these. Um, in hindsight, I probably could have just used the um, Q tool. Although it's being nice and doing multiple notes at once for me, which is helpful. I do have to go back through and fix some of the directions. Um, stem length, stem direction. There we go. Uh. OK, 
Okay, cool, it's backwards. Can we not do that? There we go. My bad. And then I'm gonna put uh and rehearsal, not rehearsal, technique text, trumpet three Q. That way, um, if they don't want to use this three part and they want to add the mellophone in, it's easier to do. And then no one has to do the transposition. I've already done it for them. And it lays pretty well in the middle of them. I just thought it would be nice to have that trumpet trio section. Um. good place to stop for today. Um, I'm going to go one more playthrough of everything and then I'm going to kind of end and eat dinner and then I'll be back on Twitch, which if you do exclamation point Twitch, you'll see my Twitch channel link um, and I'm going to be working on the game that I've been making called Seven. So I'm going to Go ahead and mute myself here and then play this through.